Hello, welcome to Bradbury TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Yaya Touré Jinari Yaya Touré, popularly known as Yaya Touré, was a former midfielder and captain of the Ivory Coast national team. Not only did he play for his country, but was also the captain. Born on May 13, 1983 in Bouke, Ivory Coast, Yaya Touré made his debut in the world of football at an Ivorian club, Asek Mimosas, at the age of 18. His great performance in the club caught the attention of scouts from Europe and as such, he played for European clubs such as Brethren from 2001 to 2003, Metalodonesk from 2003 to 2005, Olympiakos from 2005 to 2006, Monaco from 2006 to 2007, Barcelona from 2007 to 2010, Manchester City from 2010 to 2018 and back to Olympiakos in 2018. When he started out, he wanted to be a striker, but he played center back sometimes in the course of his career, including during his time with Barcelona in the 2009 UEFA Champions League final. In addition, he spent a huge part of his career as a box to box midfielder for both his country and his club, and he was known as one of the best players in that position. He was also named one of the greatest African footballers of all time, which was evident when he won African Footballer of the Year for four consecutive years 2011, 2012, 2013, and 2014. He joined the Aztec Mimosa Youth Academy in 1996 upon recommendation from his mentor Patrick Van Rijidam. In 2001, one of the very prominent figures in Aztec Mimosa, Jim Magilio, made his investment in Belgian club Beveren because he wanted to use the team to take some Iberian players to European League and showcase them to the world. It was a strategy for exposure and it worked excellently because in 2001, Tule moved to Beveren along with some other players in Aztec. In the summer of 2003, he had a trial stint with Asna where he played as a second striker in a precision friendly match against Barnett on January 19th, but he moved up front in the second half of the game. As a Wenger, the then Asna manager recognized his talent, but he was confused as to the best position to play him and eventually described his performance in the game against Barnett, which finished 0 0 as completely average. Even at that, As Wenger still wanted to sign him to the club, but Tule had difficulties in getting work permit. He could not wait any longer, so he signed a contract with Metallo Donetsk, a Ukrainian club, in December 2003, where he played for one and a half years. He joined Olympiakos in 2005, and we can say he was the lucky charm that season, as he won double with him as one of their key players. His performance in the Greek club was so impressive that he caught the eye of so many clubs. After the 2006 World Cup, where he represented Ivory Coast, Tule was signed by the French Ligue 1 side, Monaco, in August. Tule claimed that the incumbent manager, Laszlo Boloni, refused to play him in his preferred midfield position, so they had a hard time getting along. Laszlo was eventually sacked when the club found itself moving backward from the second to the last position at the bottom of the league table. The new replacement for Laszlo, Laurent Banede played Tule where he wanted, and soon he became a player to be reckoned with in the second half of the season, scoring five goals for the club. That that helped them get out of relegation duties. In the summer of 2007, he joined the Spanish side Barcelona for £10 million and made his official debut on the 26th of August 2007 during the La Liga season opener against Racing de Santander. He scored his first official goal for the club in the Wangampa Trophy match against Inter Milan in 2007 in a 5-0 victory for Barcelona. His first goal in a La Liga match came in a match against Atletico Bilbao on the 2nd of September 2007 in a 3-1 win match. In the 2009 Champions League final, three played in the centre-back position as a result of injuries and suspensions of their first choice defenders, even though he had only played in that position twice for Barcelona. He played over 17 matches for Barcelona and became part of the historic 2009 Barcelona side that won six trophies in one calendar year. It was confirmed in late June of 2010 that he would be allowed to leave the club in the summer of the same year. Today signed a five-year deal with Premier League club Manchester City on the 2nd of July 2010 for a fee of about £20 million. He was issued the t-shirt number 42, which is the reverse of the shirt he wore in Barcelona since another player, Patrick Vera, had already been issued the shirt number 24. He moved up with his brother Colo, who had signed for Manchester City in July 2009 from Arsenal. He made his debut in City on July 28 in a preseason friendly against Club America, which City won 4-1 with penalties. He, however, was named man of the match on August 7th in his home debut in a friendly against Valencia. It was announced that he will be leaving Manchester City on the 4th of May 2018 at the end of 2017-2018 season. His final appearance with the club was in a match against Brighton FC, which ended in a 3 win for Manchester City. He scored a number of key goals during his time in Manchester City, with the most notable goals being the only goal scored in the 2011 FA Cup semi-final and final. 
He also helped them earn their first league title in 44 years. From 2005 to 2015, while he played for Ivory Coast, he earned 100 caps, representing the nation at the 2006, 2010, and 2014 FIFA World Cup tournaments. He also represented them in six African Cup of Nations tournaments. He helped his nation finish as runner-up in 2006 and 2012, but in 2015, with him as captain, they won the trophy. He returned to the Super League Greece club, Olympiacos, on the 2nd of September 2018. Their contract was terminated by mutual agreement in December 2018. On the 10th of May 2019, a few days to his birthday, he announced his retirement as a professional football player, stating that he plans to start a career as a football coach. He has experience for the job. What's your take on Yaya Turi as an African footballer? Let us know in the comment section. Will this be the close to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.